Hey there, fellow investors. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, The Investing Iguana. Today, we're going to explore an exciting question on everyone's mind. Is OCBC stock worth buying in 2023? But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss any of our videos. Alright, let's get started. So, what's the deal with OCBC? The Overseas Chinese Banking Corporation Limited, or OCBC, is one of the largest banks in Southeast Asia, headquartered in Singapore. With a strong presence in the region and growing international operations, it's definitely worth considering as an investment option. But, how do we determine if OCBC stock is truly worth buying? Let's break it down into three key factors, financial performance, growth prospects, and risks. First, let's talk about financial performance. OCBC has consistently demonstrated strong financials, with a steady increase in net profit and total assets over the past few years. Moreover, the bank has maintained an impressive dividend payout ratio, making it an attractive option for income-seeking investors. As one of Southeast Asia's largest banks, OCBC has consistently delivered positive financial results, making it an attractive option for investors seeking steady returns. Financial Performance OCBC's robust financials, characterized by rising net profits and total assets, have been a key driver for its stock performance. In 2023, we expect the bank to maintain this trend, driven by ongoing business expansion and strategic acquisitions. Analysts are all keeping their ad and by calls on OCBC after the bank reported its results for the FI 2022 ended December 31, 2022, on February 24. In its results statement, OCBC announced that it intends to pay a final dividend of $0.40 cents per share, bringing its full-year dividend to $0.68 cents or 53% of its total earnings. OCBC's final dividend stood ahead of the market's expectations, which estimated that the bank would pay $0.38 cents per share. Analysts are also positive about the clarity of OCBC's dividend policy, where the bank will target a payout ratio of 50% going forward. While OCBC's 4QFY 2022 results missed their estimates, the analysts note that the bank has benefited significantly from enhancing its franchise value post its acquisition of Wing Hang Bank in 2014, given that Greater China continues to be management's focus as a key market outside Singapore, contributing 13.3% of the group's income in FI 2022. Next, let's discuss growth prospects. OCBC has made significant strides in expanding its business, both regionally and globally. Its strategic acquisitions and partnerships have bolstered its presence in key markets like China, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Additionally, OCBC's emphasis on digital transformation is expected to drive efficiency and unlock new growth opportunities in the evolving banking landscape. Finally, let's talk about risks. As with any investment, it's essential to be aware of the potential challenges. For OCBC, these include economic uncertainties, low interest rate environments, and increasing competition from fintech disruptors. Nevertheless, OCBC's strong fundamentals and growth initiatives appear to be well positioned to navigate these challenges. The group has, in recent years, been building its resources and capabilities in risk management so as to keep pace with business developments. As banking products invariably contain a varying mix of risks from different risk categories, the management of risk must be looked at holistically. The establishment of the Group Risk Management Division in 2000 recognizes the need for an integrated risk management framework and capability. So, is OCBC stock worth buying in 2023? Based on our analysis, OCBC's strong financial performance, growth prospects, and ability to manage risks make it a compelling investment option. However, as always, we encourage you to conduct your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest investing trends, tips, and expert advice, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to The Investing Iguana. We're constantly working on new content to help you navigate the world of investments with confidence. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, feel free to drop a comment below. We love hearing from our audience.
Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, keep investing wisely and growing your wealth. This is the Investing Iguana, signing off.